So we're talking about multiplying polynomials, and we're going to look at the, um, the four methods. By the way, guys, I'm just giving you a heads up. The reason I, le I like letting you sit where you want, because it helps me to see, do they work together well, or am I constantly thinking, man, that's distracting to me. They're distracting each other. I need to separate them as much as I can. That's what you're telling me for this one day. I'll see how you do. Okay, when we're talking about multiplying polynomials, um, we're not just talking about binomials. See, that's not working already. We're not talking about binomials only. We're talking about binomials and trinomials, trinomials and trinomials, and multiple term uh, polynomials multiplying themselves. Okay, the first problem we'll get is x squared plus 4x minus 12. And that's going to be multiplied by x plus 4. Now, uh, before you start doing it, don't work it out yet, because we're going to work it out a certain way. <clears throat> Would FOIL work on this one? No. Okay, first, outer, um, inner or inner? Inner. No. No, inner. Inner. And last. Okay, you did most of the work, but you missed two multiplications that were proper. FOIL doesn't work on this one. Uh, we're going to actually go with the tabular method on this one, and then we'll go through the vertical horizontal on these types of problems. I'm going to tell you right now, if you're not multiplying binomials, two binomials, FOIL is not a good method. In fact, don't use FOIL unless you have a binomial and a binomial. So tabular method, instead of doing just four boxes, I'm going to put, and it doesn't matter which one you put up top, but I'll put the trinomial up top and the binomial on the side. Could you have switched that up? Yeah, they did. Either way is going to be fine. So the trinomial will be the x squared plus the 4x minus the 12, and the binomial is going to be the x and the plus 4. Go ahead and fill in that tab, those um, spots, and uh, add any like terms, and then get me your final answer in standard form. All right, I'm going to call on people to help me out on these spots. Hagen, what's x squared times x? Um, x to the third. x to the third. x cubed there. Justin, what's x times 4x? 4x squared. Dylan, what's x times negative 12? Negative 12x. Negative 12x. Gracie, what's 4 times x squared? 4x squared. Anna Grace, what's 4 times 4x? Um, 16x. And lastly, Josiah, what's 4 times negative 12? Uh, negative 48. All right. And the reason I like standard form and I like tabular is because look what I can do. I can combine these two together, and I can combine these two together, and those are my like terms. So I should end up with x cubed plus 8x squared plus 4x minus 48. How do I know that's in standard form? Nelson, how do I know it's in standard form? Sorry, I'm a little distracted. Okay, go ahead, Nelson. Like the numbers are going like down. What numbers? numbers? Okay, the exponents. The third to the second to the first and to the zeroth. So it's in standard form. Are there any other like terms in here? No. No, so that's simplified. That's as simple as you get. Okay, how many of you got that? How many of you thought the tabular helped you to get that pretty well? I mean, not the best necessarily, but it got you there. Okay, good. All right, do you see how... The tabular method can be used for a binomial times a binomial, right? But can it be used for a trinomial and a binomial? Or a trinomial and a trinomial? All you have to do is add another column or another row. Either way, you're going to get it. Tabular method's nice. Okay, let's look at another problem and work it out a different way. So here we're going to have, excuse me, x minus 3 times... Uh, excuse me, 2x squared, 2x squared minus x plus 2. Uh, let's work this one out. I guess I'm going to work it out the horizontal way. 
So we'll start that off horizontally first, and then we'll do the same problem vertically. We'll do the same problem vertically. Okay, horizontally. Uh, when you do horizontal, it doesn't matter which one comes first, but you tend to want to have the smaller, the fewer amount of terms first. So the binomial, then the trinomial. All right, here's how I do it horizontally. X is going to be multiplied by all three of those. So X gets multiplied by that trinomial. And then negative 3 gets multiplied by all of those. And then I just do my distribution twice. Add any like terms. And then I get my standard form, hopefully, of that. And I'll ask some people some questions as we're going. OK. Jack Angel, what's x times 2x squared? 4, or 2x, x to the third. 2x to the third, good. Um, Michelle, what's x times negative x? Uh, negative x squared. Will, what's x times 2? Two? 2x. Two Elijah, what's negative 3 times 2x squared? Negative 6x squared. William, what's negative 3 times negative x? Um, 3x. And lastly, what is Olivia? Negative 3 times positive 2. Negative 6. Negative 6. So I, got, I have six terms here. Uh, when, when you multiplied it using distributive property, the parentheses dropped, which is nice because now all you have is terms to add or combine if you can. OK. Does 2x cubed have a like term? No, it's by itself. Does negative x squared have a like term? Negative 6x squared. What's negative x squared plus negative 6x squared? Negative 7x squared. All right, then I'm going to go 2x and 3x gives me 5x. And the negative 6 is up all by itself. Standard form, yes or no? Yes. All right, this is review for the quiz tomorrow. According to its degree, what kind of polynomial is that? Raise your hand. According to its degree. Darius? Cubic. cubic. The highest degree is 3, so it's cubic. Are we going to have to know the Yes, you need to know cubic. I was going to say quartic. You don't need to know quartic. So cubic, quadratic, linear, constant. You need to know those four. And then is it a mono, bi, or trinomial? Polynomial. Polynomial. You, polynomial. You just like call it polynomial. Constant? is when it's just a number. If it was just negative 6, you would call that a constant. The highest degree is 0 on that one. OK, that's your horizontal way. What's the other way to do it? Vertical. Vertical. So we're going to do the same problem, but we're going to do it vertically. And this time, I'm going to put the trinomial up top, kind of like you do with numbers. You put the one with the most digits up top, and then the one with the fewer on the bottom, plus 2. Quadratic, sorry, let me give it an order. Constant, linear, uh, sorry, uh, constant, linear, quadratic, cubic. Okay, and the second one is x minus 3. You don't listen on this, on this uh, vertical way, and I'll put the little x here because we're multiplying. You don't have to line up like terms. It happens to line up like terms, but all you're doing is the one with more terms, Fewer terms. That's all you do. It doesn't matter what their, what their degrees are and all that. Okay, so I'm going to multiply this constant by all three of them. What's negative 3 times 2, Philip? Uh, negative, uh, negative 6. Negative 6. Um, Drew, what's negative 3 times negative x? Uh, negative. So negative 3 yes. times negative x. Positive 3x. Nelson, what's negative 3 times 2x squared? Um, negative 6x squared. Okay, do you see how I wrote those answers? Kind of like you do normal multiplication, except you're dealing with polynomials. In fact, this is multiplication like you know it, where you multiply this by all three of those, don't carry anything. And then you multiply x by all three of those, and then you add like terms. That is normal multiplication. And remember how I said we're going to get to long division? Same process, 
with polynomials. It just looks weird. This looks weird for some of you, but that's how you multiply. Okay, um, Jack Hart, what's x times 2? Um, 2x. 2x, so that goes right underneath there. Uh, haven't I called on yet? Who haven't I called on yet? Oh, I think I called on you just. Matthew? Yeah, but, uh, not on this problem, but just in class yet. Uh, x times negative x. Negative x squared. And lastly, Daniel, what's x times 2x squared? Uh, 2x to the third. 2x to the third. All right, adding like terms, 2x cubed minus 7x squared plus 5x minus 6. I hope that looks familiar. Any questions on that? Those are our methods. Look at uh, page 189. Look at the first example at the very top of the page. What are you multiplying there? What two types of uh, polynomials according to their number of terms? Two trinomials, you can't do that. Yes, you can, not with FOIL, but you can with any other method. Do number one, example number one at the very top, using any method. What method did they use, by the way? Horizontal. Which is horizontal, yeah, distrib distribution horizontal. You can do any method, vertically, tabular, Minus the foil. Page 189. Example number one, the very top one. They give you the answer. So please don't get it wrong. How many are you going to use tabular? All right, tabular. All right, how many of you going to do a horizontal distribution? How many of you going to do vertically? Stack them on top. Oh, nice. Tabular started. Who? Okay. Somebody in this class was told, maybe, maybe many people, but somebody at least was in, in, in this class was told, tabular was not that great. Who told you that? Who told you that is what I want to know. Not who said it, who knows it. Who told you that? No, we did it last year and I didn't like it. We did it last year? Yeah. Yeah, then is hating on This is a new year with new beginnings. Yeah, new beginnings here. All right, the least popular, I believe, was the vertical format. Just, just from your class, just from what you guys wanted to pick, the most popular being the tabular. I like tabular because it's very easy to keep track. Vertical and horizontal could be a little tricky, but I'll go vertically just because we can do that. n squared plus 2n plus 6. And then 2n squared minus 3. Minus three. Okay. So vertically, uh, vertical people, you guys probably do the same as I did. They both have three terms, so it doesn't matter which one you put up top. When you add like terms, they should come out. Mr. Wright, tabular is poor. No, it's not. Tabular, don't take it personally. Uh, how many boxes did you have to fill in tabular people? Nine boxes. How many products did I get? Technically, how many products? One, two, three, four, five. How many did I get? Nine. Uh, ver uh, horizontal people, how many terms did you get when you multiplied them all out? Nine. Nine. We all got nine. We all got the same ones if we did it right, maybe in a different order, but... I'm going to check mine because I was talking while well. doing this. Okay. That. That's. That. That. Okay.
All right, how many have you got? Two, two n to the fourth plus n cubed plus three n squared minus 24 n minus 18. I did the wrong one. Oh, that's not nice. Yeah, it's tough, especially if you did vertical. I, I start running out of room. That's why try to put it off to the side. Not doing Oh, that's actually a good point. The next problem we do, listen carefully. The next problem we do, you have to do it in a different method than you just did this problem. So if I did vertical, I can't use vertical on the next problem. Oh yeah, oops. Okay, here's the problem. It's, uh, actually, let's do this. Uh, do it on, try these number three. Try these number three. Try these number three. You can use any method except the one you just used. What? Wait, uh, was that what problem or what in the world? Okay. Just do a different one. No, I just want you to practice. Tools, get their practice. Try these, number three. <laughs> How many of you are now going to use the tabular method because you didn't use it the last way? Okay. Wow, not so popular. How many of you are doing horizontal? Horizontal? How many of you are going to do it vertically? All right. How many of you don't know what you're doing? Oh, that's not an option. Oh, you want to do it up here. Oh, uh, no, if you could do it horizontal, I'll let you go up here. All right, so uh, I'm going to do it this time horizontally. Oh, man, this is not my favorite. Sorry? I'm going to write a little bit smaller because I need to fit a lot in here. Um, Yeah, you'll get more, you'll do a lot more binomials and trinomials multiplying, but yeah, you still have to do it. I'm just going to make sure I wrote it down right because that'd be a shame if I work it all out. Messed up on one sign and that's it. Got to do it again. <laughs> mm. Excuse me. Wow. I'm allergic to this one. Okay. Too big. This is two. Oh, yeah. All right, let's fix. Uh, okay, for this problem, it would have been that, but I, I wrote the problem. Did anyone do? Did anyone do what I did on the board? No. Okay, that's right. I'll just. Oh, I did that. Absolutely. <laughs> 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 
Uh, all that work. Okay, that's fine. Okay, your answer on number three it should have been a to the fourth minus seven a cubed plus five a squared plus twenty five a plus twelve. Let's erase this for my memory. All right, how many of you got that last one? I'll read it again if you need it. Okay, one more problem. One more time. Listen up. You're going to do it. You're going to do it again in the way you haven't done it yet. I get to do it tabular. You get to do it. I don't know. How many of you doing it in tabular format? You, got, you have to. Tabular. Raise your hand. Uh, vertical. Horizontal. No one has to do tabular. Okay, all right. Tabular's the best. It is. It is pretty good. All right, go ahead. Try these. <clears throat> number six. And this time, I'm gonna look at. It. If you told us we'd only be able to each use each thing once, we would use same tabular for the last. Ah oh, man. Okay, minor detail. Remember for last year yeah. or next year. Yeah, try these number six, please. Use the method you haven't used yet. I am blessed to do tabular now, as long as I write the numbers right. Okay. Okay. Hope I don't mess this. I don't know. And if you want to check, you should have, you see my nine products, partial products? You should have those nine as well, no matter what method you use. Wait, you should have those. Number six, I'm going to try these. I redid the other one because I thought you said you that. It's okay. Method is okay. I, 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 I just did it in my head. I did it in my head real quick. Just left it there. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, horizontal. I copied yours exactly. Yeah, you yeah. 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 Yeah, if you didn't multiply by one, you, you, you didn't get these in there. Both of you are partially true. Put it together, you're all true. 
Remember, Drew, you can't do the tiny one in your head. I'm going to pick one of you to show me your method. Pick me, pick me, pick me. All right. Who did tabular method and got it? Got that answer up there? All right, that's fine. Who got horizontal and got that? Vertical and got that? Who did foil and got that? Spoil is the acronym. It doesn't work. Uh, by the way, again, remember what I said about foil? Foil is just a nice way to remember what to multiply, but foil is distribution. So that's horizontal. And vertical is another way of doing horizontal, which means it's another way of doing distribu distribution. And guess what tabular is all about? Distribution. Yes, squares, distribution. All right. How many of you feel like you have one method you really prefer, you'd rather use that one for polynomials? Try and try, buy and try, try buy, buy buy, try try. Hi, hi. All right, I'm gonna give you one more problem. No, 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 one more problem. You could do it any way. I want 20 of you to get it right. You could do it any way. Actually, you know what? Not 20. Yeah. All right. Oh. It's called what? Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. I want 15 of you to get this right. 15 of you to get this right. Any method. Uh, let me give you. Let me give you that problem. Where is it? Okay, here we go. X minus two times x plus three. The triangle. Oh yeah, I want to try the triangle. How do you do it? That's not a good How do you do this tabular? All right, fine. Ten of you to get it right. That's easy. Right now, it's like the first thing you do. No. Yeah, because you just do multiply, and then you get those, and then you multiply by that. Why can't you just do it like that? Because it, it, um, if you actually put in numbers, it wouldn't work out. Like you could see that it wouldn't work out better. They're just binomials. All right. I heard, I heard, I hear you guys talking, and I heard a couple of you, 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 you got it. You're going to do it right. There are three things being multiplied, right? All we've been talking about is when two things are being multiplied. So why don't you just start off with multiplying two of those? Then take that product, whatever that is, and multiply by the third. It's a two-step problem. That's right. That's what I just did. Awesome. No, 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 but it doesn't come out that quick. That's the thing. Uh -oh. And it doesn't matter which ones you multiply first because of the commutative property. Hi, Alex. I hope you understand this math concept. What? Oh, yeah, Alex will be watching this. Alex, is this your second day of missing school in the past two weeks? Alex, how many days of school have you been? So if you can make up our room and get back. If 10 of you do not get this right, I give you homework tonight. I'll just make it due tomorrow. Get it done. 10 of you more. That's a threat. And it's a promise. Hmm? So if you, 
if you can get 10 or more people getting it right, this homework is due on Wednesday, as originally planned. If 10 or, or fewer than 10 get it right, this homework is due tomorrow. 10, we have what, 22 people, 23? 23. Yeah, so you need 10 of you or more to get it right. Mr. I think I found another method of doing it. Sorry. I got distracted with. Elijah, I dare you, John. I dare you. Correct answer is x cubed plus 6x squared minus x minus 30. Raise your hand if you got it right. Uh oh, I don't know. One. Did you say 10? Two, three, four. Boy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fill up. What do you need, buddy? All right, time out. Your homework that is due tomorrow, since you guys are so eager to get to it, um, please listen up. I'll give you another chance on that. Elijah, well, hold on. So could you do... So x times x plus x plus times x plus three minus negative two times x plus three. Did you get this? No. Then no. Because um, that that has to be my answer. All right. Your homework that's due on Wednesday as of now, and I'm telling you guys, if you're not working, I'm gonna I'm just gonna say due tomorrow. Um, it's gonna be numbers two through. 20 even. And again, it's due on Wednesday. One seventy nine, one eighty. Goodbye, Swivel.